Hello everyone, this is going to be a tour of my mobile setup. Um, I do a lot of work on dirt bikes and I also work on Mercedes diesels and modern Mercedes and stuff. So this is my mobile setup. I take this with me in the truck basically everywhere I go. Um, to the track, to just on road trips and kind of everything. So it's got a lot of random stuff in it, but decent amount of regular hand tools. I don't have any power tools in this just because they don't really fit. This um, this box I made out of a old file cabinet. It's um, just bent, bent up and welded on the corners and stuff. It's kind of made to mimic the Mac or Cornwell box that they came out with. So it's got a, it's got this handle on it. I have. I'll start off. It's got this tiny vise. Um, I use it for pressing and bearings and seals for like uh, dirt bike engine cases and that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in here, so I'll just hop right in. Um, it's kind of piled in on, a, on everything, but this is my three pound hammer. It's my favorite hammer and it works really well for basically everything. Um, I have my 18 inch pry bar in my favorite color. I have my big uh, 80 tooth ratchet from Snap-on. Um, right here I have uh, I believe this is a 12 inch um, crescent wrench and then the six inch. This one's an old blue point one and then this one is the modern snap on one. They're uh, attached to the box with magnets and they actually, well, they're, they're kind of like stud finder magnets but they keep heavier tools attached to the side. So above that I have a half inch, I believe it's a three inch impact socket and then the six inch non impact. Um, moving over here, I have my workhorse, just the 3 8 ratchet. Um, the quarter inch, which I use probably more than my 3 8 now. I have a uh, 10 inch breaker bar. It's really old. This one I kind of use like in place of a T handle when I'm doing fairings on motorcycles and stuff. Um, Back there I have a, uh, I don't know the length, but it's a really long SK extension. Um, in here, I'll get it out for you guys because it's actually kind of funny. Kind of tricky to get out, but it's a, um, it's kind of like a wobble train. It's got every adapter and universal wobble I need. So that goes down in there. Um, right past that is my half inch set of impacts. This is from Pittsburgh, but I filled in the uh, missing sizes with Capri tools and they've been great so far. So here I have one quarter inch extension. It's a Craftsman. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have knurling on it because it's hard to turn when your hands get oily. Here I have a three inch SK and a six inch snap on with the knurling, which I like a lot. Under this, this red box is my uh, combination wrenches and ratcheting wrenches. I don't use them a whole lot anymore, so that's why they're kind of not prioritized in location. It'll take me a second to get to. Um, I guess I'll go into my sockets now. So these, this is my Allen set. This is actually a Pitts, it's, it's got a bunch in it. It's like Pittsburgh Husky. I use them every day and I haven't broken one yet. So um, I'll start off. Or I'll go to these. These are my e Torx um, for male Torx bit. Uh, they're Pittsburgh too. I use them a lot on modern Mercedes, especially Sprinters and kind of anything like that. These these are pretty cool. I wanted to talk about these in a video. They're the Craftsman quarter inch ball and Allens. This is a five, and I have a four, and that, those are the main two sizes I run into with my line of work and they've been great so far. I use those every day too. Here I have a snap-on set of uh, female Torx. That's, that's been great. It's a really nice set, but I just don't, um, I don't use it every day, but it comes in handy. This is kind of one of my main sets. This is a nine to 19 set of snap-on six point metric, three eighths deep. Um, I don't, when I got them, I didn't have the 10, so I got a Mac 10 and a Mac 15. Back here, I have a snap-on set of my, um, for my SAE stuff. 
I don't use it a whole lot actually at all really, but it's in there just in case I need to for like hose clamps and stuff. Sorry about the plane noise, but down in here, I have uh, some zip ties in case I ever need them. My RTV goes right there too. And then here is a uh, Craftsman quarter inch set. It goes from, I believe, I think it's, it's either five or six to 13, kind of a normal set, but it gets the job done. And from there, I have, um, this is kind of my screwdrivers and pliers section. So I've got the, I think this is the SD8 or something like that. It's a pretty simple one. I use that one a lot to pry. I've had to, you can see the tips a little messed up. This is my number, I believe it's number one. Yeah. Number one, number two, Phillips. This long flathead is really great for doing specific work and that kind of stuff, carburetor tuning. Um, so these are pretty generic. These are just the Pittsburgh I think it's a 45 degree needle nose. They're, the only thing I don't like about them is that you can kind of really squeeze them together. Like they're not as, um, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but they're not as robust as say like these ones. And these are from Harbor Freight too. They're the Doyles. I've talked about these before and I really like them because these are just super stout. I have some uh, Mac Tools cutters. Uh, my big channel locks, love those. Uh, my cobalt um, pliers. These are really nice because I like the size. They're not too big and they're not too small. Um, I got my Milwaukee. This is the fastback. I like it because it's pretty. It's pretty easy to open and close. Uh, this one punch. This is okay, but I believe I have another one in here for when I other things. Yeah, this guy. They're all. They're both old. Probably older than me. Um, my feeler gauge set for doing valve adjustments on the go. Uh, this is uh, Williams gasket scraper. You can use it for a lot of different things though. Um, regular pick, but it's a nail that I glued into the uh, handle because I kept breaking them. Um, the box is pretty dirty, so. Uh, Craftsman magnet and um, inspection mirror, tire pressure, thing you know my little flashlight i oriented the clip so i can clip it onto my hat when i'm working and it's really great it just chews through batteries and my scraper just i like this style the best because you don't you know I've, I've been in that spot when you're trying to scrape something and you miss and then you just take out a nail or something on the sharp edge of whatever you're doing and it's not very fun so yeah that's all that um this is just a generic kind of tray I use to put this, this stuff in. And obviously when I'm doing specific things, I have to dig through it, which is kind of why I made this tour because in all, for me at least, I've seen other people do this setup of, um, of box, but for me, it's kind of getting a little bit inefficient for having to dig. So I did, I'm doing this tour to kind of cement this in history of how I set it up because I'm going to be transferring my stuff to uh, something a little bit different and in the near future so I forgot I have this magic loop stuff that works good for random things I made this pegboard but it's not like traditionally wood like they usually are it's actually a metal it's like eighth inch plate with um holes drilled and then uh this metal rod spot welded in for, or just welded in from the bottom and then I it sits the sockets on them and I like it because you can still get this rail out if you need to but it doesn't wiggle too much to where it's annoying and they flop over and you can also pull out sockets on it it's not a good example but you know and you can get to them easily I've kind of memorized exactly where what socket is so I don't really have to take the bunch out and look at them and that kind of stuff but it does make the this a lot heavier it's pretty much maxed out for weight wise it's like i don't even know but yeah there it is it's pretty generic uh i thought it was cool because i built it myself but you know everybody has their own opinion let me know what you guys think if you like it or not and thank you guys for watching